sleeps are chefs that battle all night. This is Knife Fight! Fight. Knife Fight is coming to New York City with a season-long tournament to crown one ultimate winner. The winner of this fight is... The Big Apple Let's go. just got knifed. Anyone know how to peel a snake? Knife Fight. Uh, what in the heck am I doing here? From award-winning executive producers Simon Chin and Jonathan Chin, he stood outside the political machine. I don't think people take me seriously initially. He had no money, no backing, and no experience. People hear Clay Aikens running for Congress and they go, what the f He wanted to make a difference. People say that a gay man cannot win in North Carolina. Bring it on. The Runner Up premieres April 7th at 10. The art of the BMW i8. Gas and electric. Performance and efficiency. Artistry and aerodynamics. The BMW i8 gives new meaning to plug-in hybrid with its drag-reducing front bumper, high-speed stability wing, and unique stream flow design. It's power with a conscience. Welcome to Jurassic World. If dinosaurs got loose in Pawnee, how would I stop them? It depends on if you're talking to me, Chris, or me, Andy, or me, Johnny Karate, or me, Burt Macklin, or me, Owen, from the movie Jurassic World. If I was Owen from Jurassic World, I would use my awesome dinosaur handling skills. If I was me, Chris Pratt, evacuate the island. Straight up Black Hawk helicopter gets me out. But if it's Andy, I rollerblade away. If it's Johnny Karate, I fight to the death, which would be immediate. I would die almost immediately. And if it was Burt Macklin FBI, well, he doesn't play by the rules, but Freeze! he gets the job done. <laughs> See Chris Pratt in Parks and Rec on Esquire Network. And don't miss him in Jurassic World. The park is now open. They say a car says a lot about the man. But when the man is a covert spy turned brainwashed assassin on the run from the government, the less said, the better. Uh, sir, he drove off the roof. What? He drove off the roof. The Bourne Ultimatum. I'm Spike Ferriston from Car Matchmaker, and we're going all access at the LA Auto Show. Let's go. All of my favorite brands are here. You've got Porsche, you've got Audi, you've got Mercedes, you've got Mini, you've got Jaguar. This year, they're debuting 60 world and North American debut cars. I'm Spike Ferriston, by the way. That's Spike, Spike, very nice. What's to meet your name? You. Philip Brabeck. Yeah. Well, this car right here, yeah. the Prologue, that's a very special car. 605 horsepower, twin turbo V8, 3.2 seconds 0 to 60, and 199 mile per hour top speed. I want to All see right. that virtual display. Yeah, we should do Let's that. Let's get a shot of the virtual display. This year's LA Auto Show, I think, is about connectivity and my favorite, the concept cars. There's a very special car right behind us. It's the Mini Superleggera, uh -huh. and it's a vision that we wanted to create to show that Mini has these automotive emotions, but also can look far into the future when it comes to advanced design. With this car, we also show a lot of new form language, so yeah. it takes it to the next level. Tell me why it's important for Mini to have a presence at the LA Auto Show. LA is really about a car scene where it's all about emotion. It's how you feel, how you look when you drive a car, obviously, but it's also the fun of driving. So LA, you know, the canyon driving is something that's in the forefront, and Mini fits that. You see, sometimes smaller is better. This is Jay Larson. And this is Sean Patton from Best Bars in America. And this is Fully Loaded Travelog at Outside Lands. How many music festivals have a Wineland out? Uh, this is the only one. How many vendors do you have in here? 36 wineries, 110 wines, um, all from California, all from this fog. Sold. I'm Let's in. do it. We are here at Banshee, where I understand you take empty glasses and make my dreams come true. We do, sir. We're going to start you off with some Pinot Noir, which is uh, really what we specialize in. Uh, what do you think, Sean? Ooh. See, I'm not much of a wine person, but that changes me into a wine person. You know what? I've done your reds. I'm going to do a white. We I'm can do a white. A white. Guy. You oh. are a white guy, actually. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sauvignon bad. Blanc. So this is uh, from 2013, and yeah. so you'll probably notice a very flamboyant nose right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, I've noticed some flamboyant noses around here. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your wines with us. We got to go try some beer to wash all this wine down. 
We have found beer land, and here be the king, and also the brewmaster at Magnolia Brewing. Here he is, this is Dave. How many beers are you guys cranking out right now? Here we got uh, 30 breweries pouring 60 different beers. Yeah. What, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're pouring our uh, Kolsch, which is a German golden ale, and then we also have our IPA, which you'll love. It's very hoppy, very aggressive hop. Aggressive hop, Aggressively that's what I'm hop. looking yes. for. What I like about this is it's sharp, yet delicate. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's like a knight, but also a warrior, but a gentle warrior. Couldn't say it any better. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. Outside lads! We drank, we drank, and we drank. We drank. What are we gonna do right now? Drink some more. And maybe check out some music? Check out some live music. I would like to see some live music. That's why we came. That's the only reason we're here. Hi guys, I'm Caitlin Olson from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia here at beautiful Comic-Con in San Diego. Hi, I'm Rob McElhenney. And I'm Glenn Howerton. We're, we're from with It's Always Sunny well, in Philadelphia. I was gonna... Yeah. Now you do the rest. We're with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and we're at Comic-Con to talk about our show, season five of it. Don't look at me, look at the... This year, Sweetie gets a boyfriend. You can expect a lot of hijinks. To do the Octomom thing. Yelling at each other, uh, taking our shirts off, green man. I try and make it a Decamom. Action sports. We're a little annoyed because we're like old poor and there's all this new poor coming along and making it cool and we don't like that. A G lot of well, tomfoolery. G4 is a male, male, male audience, right? So it's, it's gonna be a lot of male, male, male on male action. It's not that. Not that male. What's happening with the economy? It's a male, but not. Not male on male. Right. So G4 is more of a male on female type of, type of joint? Yeah. You so can you'll expect see a lot of male on female um, action. Danny has a terrible attitude. Big breasted violence. He's a horrible man, a total diva. Dudes. He demands that we go get him food, and we're like, well, there are people for that. That's their job. And he's like, I don't want them to get me food. I want you to get me food. I hesitate to, uh, to use letters like X and Z and G, because they're very powerful letters. So I have to stop everything I'm doing and, and go get him things. If I were to use letters to describe the show, I would use Z, X, and G because in this day and age, I think that translates to action, adventure, sex, extreme, xenophobia. But everyone does it with their friends. Z, G, <laughs> X. What is going on? Uh, crazy, it's gonna be a crazy year. Cats are stuck in walls, Cheeto dust everywhere. I think all of it's a little bit crazy, but only crazy in terms of you don't really usually see that on TV. You don't use the word Z unless you're like, you mean it. Zow, za zow. And you don't use the word X unless you mean extreme. <laughs> you know what I mean? And G to the four, that's like G times four. That's like gangsta, <laughs> ghetto, Glenn. Judy Garland. A lot of great stuff. They're going to air that whole thing. They're going to the whole thing. People won't get bored at all. Click, click, click. They'll, they'll go all the way through the spectrum of channels and be back, and you'll still be talking. Can you say that on G4? So far, it's amazing. Goodbye, G4. Watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, or you're a You can't say that on G4 either, can you? You can't? OK, let's do can another one. Do, do another one, do another one. Goodbye, G4. Please watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I need a job. Don't beg. I need the money. Goodbye, G4. Watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, season five, because it's or, the funniest else. show on TV. Or threaten them. Or else. We'll get you. We'll get you. I'm Evan Dollar, here to help you become a well-trained warrior. It's setup day on the American Ninja Warrior course, and we're gonna take a look at what it takes to cross the balance bridge. You step in on this balance bridge, you have to be careful with your approach, and you have to keep the balance. Oh, and he's done. I've never done the balance bridge before, but I walked over a seesaw once, so I pretty much got this. You definitely want to keep your eyes forward. One of the cardinal rules of balance is to not stare at your feet. Keep in mind that the middle part of this obstacle dips down really low, so it's easy to lose your stability if you rush through it. In my opinion, the most important thing is to take your time. The balance bridge might look easy, but one unsteady step and your chance of victory is over. Street Style with Baron Davis. What is your definition of style? Style is about your personality, how you feel that day. Muted colors, wing tip boots. You gotta own it, right? Yeah. Instead of a pocket square, pocket flower. If you own it, you can make people respect it. Right. Let me do the pocket flower. Ooh. 
Esquire Network sent one of the most legendary sports photographers of our time to shoot the players of the Texas Youth Football Association. Friday Night Tykes, through the lens of Walter Yost Jr. Every great athlete has started out exactly where these kids are. You know, we've all had dreams. We all wanted to put the uniforms on. Not many of us get to the, the stratosphere of the pros, but we all think we can do it when we're seven and nine. I still shoot with a child's heart. I don't think you can ever let that fantasy of sport get away from you too far. When I was a kid, put on your uniform and stand in front of the mirror and then you look like whoever your hero was. You know, you'd sit there and you'd look at yourself. You know, something special to, to, to put on a uniform. That's, that's game face. Friday Night Tykes, Tuesdays at 9. <laughs>